What's up, squad? All right, guys. So it is our birthday month. I hope you guys have been living it up. Um, like I said, you guys are going to be the first for every reading that I put out. So you'll never have to wait for your readings. That's awesome. And squad, I just want to celebrate and I want to say thank you because I just hit 50K last week and that was a huge deal. And I was like, ah, and you know, there was patrol now and everybody was so excited and it was just a really, really good moment for me. And I just hit my year, you know, about a week and a half ago. So it was just a really, really good birthday month for me so far. So let's see what's going on, guys. This is going to be your love reading. Now, this is going to be sun, moon, and rising signs, okay? Past, present, future, look. Whatever comes out in terms of love comes out. At the end, I will do advice for singles, and then I'll do some advice for couples just to see what direction you should take, um, you know, with what you're going through right now. And other than that, what else do I want to say? I think that's it. Let's get into it. Oh, what I did want to say is that I posted a uh, poll in the community section of my YouTube so that you guys can choose what readings that you want as a bonus. So the top two um, readings that get voted in, those are the bonus ones you guys will get, okay? So what is going on with the sign of Taurus in terms of love? May 2018. What is happening with the sign of Taurus? All right, squad, let's see what's up here. Okay, so beautiful. The energy that we have here is the High Priestess. Um, I love the High Priestess coming out because it's showing you that you're in a place where, you know, you're going to be very in tune with the reality of a situation that you're in, uh, you know, with the person that you're dating or with the person that you're interested in. So, um, you know, anytime this card comes out, let's say somebody is feeling like their partner could be cheating or they're feeling like their partner has a good surprise for them or something like that, um, you're most likely right about what you feel, okay? We have the Nine of Swords. So with the Nine of Swords, this is something that you could really be in your head about, okay, where you kind of take a break or decide not to move forward with something because you're in a place where you're really thinking about how you want to move forward, okay? So let's see what's going on, guys. First card for the past, Queen of Swords. So some of you could have been dealing with Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Or this could have been you just guarding yourself, putting a high wall up. Um, you know, maybe you were scorned in love. Okay, and we have the High Priestess. So, you know, you use all your intuition. And, you know, I feel like you guys blocked yourself off from something. Or you could have been waiting on someone as well. Okay. Uh, with the Six of Pentacles in the verse, there's something that was not balanced in the sense where I feel like one person could have been putting more effort into a situation than the other person was. But there is definitely a big change that happened here where you guys are just waiting things out, seeing how things are going to play, um, you know, how they're going to play out. The next card you guys have for the past is the Page of Swords. So with the Page of Swords, um, again, could be that air energy, but this is someone who's going to speak to you very, very directly or someone that you spoke to very directly in the past, saying whatever's on your mind. And a good sense of indecision. So maybe you weren't sure whether or not uh, you wanted to be with the person. Or maybe you weren't sure uh, who you wanted to be with if you had more than one choice. And we have the five of wands. So the five of wands is petty arguments, you know, tension. Um, and usually it's a conflict that deals with at least three people or more. But you're being very direct about this. And um, for some of you, there could have been a Leo Aries or Sagittarius involved. But something that you saw in a very high regard, but something about it was making you unhappy. I feel like either someone was forcing something with you or you were forcing something with somebody. All right. You have the strength card in the verse as the last card for the past. So uh, in this case, there's someone really being strong and standing their ground against something that they probably shouldn't be too strong in. OK, I feel like someone's being stubborn here. And we have the Empress card, which is a new start. That comes in for some of you. Maybe it was a pregnancy. Okay. 
and we have uh, the Knight of Wands, so fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. So there's something that you guys have to give up on because you feel like it's bad judgment. You feel like it's a lost cause. All right, so you end it here. And it could have been someone that you saw on a high regard or someone that saw you in that way. Um, and for some of you, maybe you have to end something to start something with someone else. For others of you, it could have been you simply just letting go of a bad habit or bad judgment that you felt that you were making that was just adding uh, a burden to the relationship that you were in or the person that you were talking to. And the present moment, two of cups. So this is someone you guys feel very close to, very connected to. Uh, this could be a soulmate card, but just a very strong connection that you have. All right. And with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, there could be arguments with this person. OK, not saying eye to eye on certain things. And again, the hangman in the reverse, there's something here, guys, that's really being forced. Um, but I see you guys wanting to expand. For some of you, you know, honestly, I just feel like you're duking it out with your partner. And by that, I mean, you just, uh, you know, if there's shit between the two of you guys, I feel like you're just hashing things out um, for other people. Maybe you're turning your back on somebody in order to have a new start, okay? But maybe you're burdened because you're not over someone from the past, okay? And the next card we have is the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So the worst that could have happened with you in regards to love, it's past you, okay? If there's any harsh endings, you're getting over that. Judgment card in the reverse. There's something here that you guys really see as bad judgment, as a bad call, something that you no longer feel like you have control over. So you walk away from it. So, yeah, maybe there was an injustice here, but uh, for a lot of you, you could have made the choice to take a loss here because you were unhappy with someone or with a certain aspect of your relationship. Okay, the last card we have here is the Three of Cups. So for some of you, uh, you know, this could be a third party situation that you're involved in. For others of you, this could be something that you're celebrating. So some of you could be happy to be letting go of something that you knew was bad judgment that was going to lead to chaos. All right, and we have the death card. So with the death card, if you're single, that could be you getting into a relationship. If you're in a relationship, that could be it ending um, or just a huge change. That's really what the death card means. It's, it's a 180, all right, where you feel very victorious. So there's something uncomfortable. There's something that you know you don't have control of that's, you know, a lost cause here. But you're able to have a new start because of it. So for some people, I feel like you're leaving someone behind in order to start something new. For others, um, you could be celebrating the fact that you're letting someone go. And for others of you, I feel like there was a lot of problems that you could have had um, with your partner where you're kind of just duking it out, getting through it. Okay. Uh, but a new start here, that's very emotionally fulfilling. It's just coming from a place where you felt a little lost or confused. Moving forward, guys, the first card we have is the tower card in the reverse where you're avoiding conflict at all costs. You're dodging bullets here king of pentacles so you're avoiding problems you're feeling really really good you're really in your element and you're moving forward methodically with somebody okay for a lot of you it could be specifically in aries with these three cards that we have here we have the queen of wands the page of wands and the emperor the emperor depicts um aries and virgo yes so very strong fire energy for some of you um maybe area specifically for others of you, uh, but there's something that you have a hard time letting go of from the past. The next card you have is the moon card, which is secrets coming out, also a sense of clarity that you gain when it comes to love. All right, seven of swords in the reverse. So if there is something you guys wanted to keep secret or something that someone else wanted to keep secret from you, it is coming out, and that is what's helping you to decide that there's something you have to move away from. If someone stepped out of a relationship, then it's definitely going to come out at this time. Um, but I see that this could definitely cause arguments for a lot of people. Maybe feeling like you need to let go. Last card here is the temperance card in the reverse. So feeling imbalanced, okay, but standing your ground. And Tauruses are notorious for standing our grounds, even if we're not necessarily right. Okay, we're just stubborn as fuck. All right, and... Again, that fire energy keeps coming out. So Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, or somebody that comes off very passionate, maybe very lustful, um, as a naturally very powerful person, okay? But arguments that can be coming in due to this person or a fallout altogether because of this energy that's coming in. So this is why I like to do the separated um, advice because I feel like it's going to be different for every person. So 
singles first. Let's get three cards of advice for you. And guys, please keep in mind that this is a general reading because I have people that get really super upset. And they're like, fuck you, I wasn't the bad one. They fucked me over. And they're like, go to hell. And I'm just like, holy shit, I don't know you. I don't know them. Let's just take a breather. Go smoke a blunt or something because you need it. All right, here we go. So um, for my singles, there's something that I feel you're really, really wishing for. Okay, that you're going to have to end up walking away from because you're going to put a lot of time and effort into it and it might not come out the way you want it to. Sorry about that. So there's going to be something you're really, really happy about that, you know, makes your world just feel brighter. And, you know, with the sun card, this is also a card about things coming to light. And we have the ten of swords here. So I'm going to um, clarify the ten of swords and see why there could be a harsh ending or a sense of betrayal at the end of this. The hermit card withdrawing yourself, um, you know, just wanting to be alone, somebody not being genuine with love, someone being a player, a third party situation where you might have a fallout here, okay, and it's because either this person returns to someone from their past, or this is someone from your past that you're returning to, but it's not going to work out, so it's going to leave you at a standstill, okay. All right, so couples, let's see what's going on. Okay, so for couples there, you know, there's going to be a situation here where there is something that is out of your control, okay? Uh, there's something that you don't feel assertive over, okay, where things just become a bit chaotic, but you know enough to avoid any, um, you know, chaotic situations or things that can just feel very uncomfortable. So let's see why this chariot is in the reverse here and what's going on. Queen of Cups in the reverse. So someone here feeling like something is out of their control, being overly emotional here. We have the Wheel of the Year in the reverse. So something hitting the fan, guys. All right? And, you know, I see a lot of cards about indecision, possibly promiscuity. So, um, you know, in the reading, guys, it showed that whoever is doing foul play, this is a month where it could definitely be exposed. So um, if you have something you want to hold on to, not that I condone cheating, could I, uh, you know, I don't at all. But this isn't a month where I see you guys getting away with it. Um, and if it's a cross watcher, um, then this is a month that I don't see you getting away with anything. So definitely a lot to think about. But um, you guys are going to be in a place where you find a way to avoid the conflict, to get over it in a way that you're going to be calm. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, there's going to be something that you feel like you don't have control over. All right, where someone's going to be sad, a sense of loss, but there's still going to be a sense of being very strong within yourself, you know, not skipping any beats, still getting things done, still being self-sufficient, still getting your money up, um, but you're choosing to avoid certain problems, but there's just something that pops up that's a bit out of your control, but I feel like you guys deal with it well because you still come out in the upright and you're not, you know, the stubborn Taurus in us is not being brought out by this, Okay. So, all right, guys, we'll see what happens. It's just showing that there's going to be something that could be unstable, but you do find stability after that. All right. All right. Awesome, guys. So, um, again, community section, vote for the reading that you guys want as your birthday bonus. And, yeah, if you guys want a personal reading, highvibrationswithliz.com. I'll leave it in the description below. And for my lovely iPhone users, um, an app called Instant Go. You can call or text me on it. I will leave that link in the description below as well. All right, guys. I love you so much, squad. Be safe this month. Party it up. Have a good time for me. Take a shot of tequila for me. I love y'all. See you soon.